starch first kick. I go for a little street ride today. I got some new taller uh, BMX bars. There's some high rise bars. It already feels worlds apart. or not because it says please respect our privacy you know they, they made a sign and put that next to their house so I wasn't really positive and uh, I talked to a friend and he said that 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 road's open it's a public road so I'm gonna go take that it's a lot of really uh, nice pretty roads out here it's Western North Carolina and Really windy roads, it's all mountains. You got the creek that runs right next to it. You don't get a lot of traffic, and that's why I'm riding the pit bike out here. You know, you don't see too many cars, and... except for the car in front of me. You know, everybody out here goes slow too, so it's not like I'm impeding traffic. Or... But I risk it. Um, rarely, rarely ever see a cop out here. Yeah, plus, I could always just get over to this side and be like, hey man, I'm sorry, I'll ride the, the grass all the way back. <laughs> Handlebars make such a difference. Guys, it's really important to, uh, to do things like get a clutch and, uh, you know, a clutch that fits you. Some of them are really long. Like, see my brake? That's a super long lever compared to my clutch lever. So I have a shorter brake when I just haven't put it on yet. Uh, I have to machine it down because it doesn't fit exactly. And, you know, another thing to do is you want to unscrew these screws here and move this how you want it. You know, some people like it further down, like this. Some people like it further up. Uh, you might want to move it further right or left. You know, no bike is geared specifically for everybody. So it's always good to do things like change your handlebars and move your levers around to places where they feel comfortable for you, for your fingers and your reach and all that good stuff. Really makes a difference. wait to ride the trails with this bar I'll definitely be able to stand up now and it won't be an issue hey, these cars can't go that fast on these roads but man motorcycles cruise through here pretty quick So between the shock and the and the handlebars, I spent $165. And that was, oh, and then with the levers, both levers, that's $165, $170, like $180. Bucks. 
So for $180, I mean, you could get perfectly set up. Yeah, that's really cheap. Um, especially considering the bike's only $685 shipped to your house. So I mean, once you make that other investment, it's you're still under a thousand dollars, and I mean that rear shock that makes such a difference. shock really uh it changed this entire bike and how it runs it's just it's been incredible i'm so happy with it i talked about it in my other video my first moto vlog um, so i won't touch too much on it here but if you're interested in getting your coolster 125 to get the rear shock to perform the same way that the front forks do if you have the 214 fc edition or 214 FC model, I should say. Because uh, the front fork's really plush, they're long travel, they come up slow, uh, you know, the rebound step pretty slow. But um, that's not the case for the shock that it comes with, the stock one. It's like a pogo stick, it just bounces you right back up really fast, and it's hard to ride like that. So I highly up. Uh, highly recommend those two upgrades and I'll be doing a walk around review of all the upgrades and all the features that this bike comes with um, that a lot of the other Chinese uh, pit bikes just don't have. and most of it is stuff breaking from me falling on the trails and so that's not the bike's fault uh, the frame will never break though it's uh I forget what they call it it's a perimeter frame so you got a frame on the right and on the left side uh, if you can see it Woo! let me look forward <laughs> don't want to go off the mountain that was fake for a second it was just standing there yeah a lot 
lot of deer out here, wild turkeys, uh, black bears. opens up out here. This is nice. It's not this way. Yeah, maybe he hasn't been here so long someone bought it and they put private property. Apparently that happens a lot. People will buy like one of the properties on an access road that leads somewhere. And uh and they put up a gate, no trespassing. And they take away our fun. Maybe it's this way. Private drive. Come on. Is that true or are they lying? What the fuck? That's bogus, dude. Well, I guess we're not going either of these ways. sometimes what can you do there's another road out here though it uh, leads to some hiking trails over at the Appalachian Trail we go check that out That guy holding a hammer like if he was gonna hit me? Is he fucking stupid? What's wrong with that guy? Didn't even 
didn't feel like I was going that fast, but like 40, 45. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to him. I just wanted to apologize, man. I, I I didn't realize how fast I was going, and yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to mess with anyone out here. Two people die on this curb. Really? A guy in a truck died. I'm sorry to hear that, man. This is residential. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I live on Meadow Fork. Um, okay. I, I just I heard um, one of my friends. He told me that there used to be trails out here when when you cut left before the bridge, but it looks like they're both private drives now. Did, I guess someone bought the property. I don't mind having fun. I'm all for having fun, but yeah. like I said, we picked got his brains, too many man. brains out of these trees. Yeah. When you get in those curbs, they're not forgiving. Right. We'll take you. Especially with these dirt tires, you know, these aren't street tires. So I appreciate it. And, so I wouldn't and, hit you in the head, but. No, 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 no. I know. I, uh, I'm not trying to disrupt anybody, you know. I, I just, I, I don't realize how, what speed I'm going at, but I'll definitely I'll make it a point to slow down. Hey, it's stand up that you came back. That's real yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, you know. Man, I, mean. I, I live on 3303 Meadow Fork. I mean, I live right down the street, you know. It's, it's, it's good that you came back because we get a lot of bikes. Yeah. And they have no respect. I'm, I'm just trying to find trails to ride, man. <laughs> you know, it's... Uh, when you get to that gate up there... If I just go straight, straight. But I don't know, like, what the law is. Like. Yeah, I've gone around it, and I've rode pretty far back out there. Um, I think it's pretty safe out there. The Lemon Gap. Yeah, exactly. Yep. That there's the the Appalachian Trails to the right. They yeah. don't mind. He just got two rock wires up. There. Yeah, just watch out for them big dogs. Right on. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> is, that's through the gate. Uh, yeah, make, make a left. Oh, okay. Oh. You, yeah, he's up on the left right there before the gate. So once you're past the gate, you ain't got to worry about that. I think I saw him off in his Jeep down that way. But yeah, I mean... Now, is that uh, when I make the left before the bridge? Right up here? Yeah, I mean, just go straight through the gate is all I know. I mean, I haven't been. I just know on the map. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Right on. But just be safe. I will. I will. Thank you, guys. We're just tired of picking up people. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that that wouldn't be fun. Well, I'm, I'm Colin Poe, by the way. What was it? Colin, like General. Colin? Colin. I'm Drew. Drew? Yep. My son, John. Uh, John? It's so good to have neighbors up nice here. To Pleasure to meet you guys. Yeah, All right. Be have safe. Fun, yeah, you too, man. Maybe I'll see you guys around. You guys have a good day. Too, Take care of yourselves. outside working on some project and then he seen me I'm sure that's all it was
good advice too to slow down on these curves with these uh, dirt tires. Although it's just so fun. Yeah, I mean the main thing why we turned around is we don't want anybody calling the cops. Everybody pissed off at you where you ride. So then they call the cops and then what the fuck? Then you get in trouble. That's as fast as it'll go. I'm gonna need a 250 soon. tell you enough how much these big old handlebars have changed everything. These bars are amazing. Let's see what we got here. end which would be dope I'll be able to go faster but on the trails it's better to have acceleration I think so if anything I might actually put a bigger sprocket in maybe I'll just get two sets of wheels you know get some well see the thing is I thought about that but then what do I do if I hit a trail because I'm not gonna ride just street you know, if I ride street it's usually to get to some trails that's the point I'm riding street there's a straight bike, there's a little pit bike. Just take a little longer to get to the trails, but man, I'll be able to punch it through with that acceleration. And this thing already comes set up pretty well, I think. It's it's got a good balance to it. Damn top speed through this! out here. Trails seem pretty clear too. A lot clearer than the other trails I normally ride. And more grass though, so probably more slippery in the corners. the sun in front of me. It's not the easiest to see. 
especially with all this overgrown grass and I don't know these trails. Check this out. I wonder if there's trails over here. Oh, that looks like a creek. Looks like a trail. Got no kickstand. is not half bad. It's not even run down. Ah, oh, cool fire pit. Pretty cool. <laughs> it doesn't feel very sturdy. These do though. Cool.
It's really nice out here. I gotta pee. <laughs> <laughs>